Hello, I'm Ella Simon and I will be presenting on the Caribbean Plate. The Caribbean Plate is a mostly oceanic tectonic plate that is underlying Central America and the Caribbean Sea off the north coast of South America. The Caribbean Plate makes up roughly 3.2 million square kilometers in area. The Caribbean Plate borders the North American Plate, the South American Plate, the Nazca Plate, and the Cocos Plate. If you want a more specific idea of where it is, if you look back to the figure that was provided to us during this lab, it is the yellow area that is under, that is under the North American Plate and to the right of the Cocos Plate. These borders are regions of intense seismic activity, including frequent earthquakes, occasional tsunamis, and occasional eruptions. The Caribbean Plate began its eastward migration 80 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. This migration eventually resulted in a volcanic arc stretching from northwestern South America to the Yucatan Pen Peninsula, today represented by the Aves Islands and the Lesser and Greater Antilles. The plate is moving eastward about 22 millimeters per year in relation to the South American plate in Venezuela. Much of the movement between the Caribbean and the South American plate occurs along the faults of Bagnor el Pilar in San Sebastian, which is a western portion of the plate occupied in Central America. The Caribbean plate formed millions of years ago as the Atlantic Ocean wide widened and North and South America were push pushed westward. Another theory states that the Caribbean plate formed through an Atlantic hotspot that no longer exists. There are many boundary types that cover the Caribbean plate. On the west side, there is a subduction zone. On the south side, there is a subduction zone and a transform, a transform zone. On the east side, there is another subduction zone, and on the north side, there is a transformative boundary. Now I will go into more detail about the geological features these zones create. The northern boundary with the northern plate is a transform boundary, which runs from the border of Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras and into Central America eastward through the Cayman Trough that lies on the southeast coast of Cuba and just north of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. The Puerto Rico Trench, one of the deepest parts of the Atlantic Ocean, lies on this border. Puerto Rico is at a complex transition from the subduction boundary in the south and the transformative boundary to the west. The Cocos Plate of the Pacific Ocean, which is to the west of the Caribbean Plate, is subducted beneath the Caribbean Plate. This subduction forms volcanoes in Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica, also known as the Central American Volcano Volcanic Arc. The eastern boundary is a subduction zone where the older oceanic crust of the South American Plate is being subducted under the Caribbean Plate. The subduction formed the volcanic arc islands of the Lesser and Greater Antilles Volcanic Arc from the Virgin Islands in the north to the islands off the coast of Venezuela in the south. This boundary contains 17 active volcanoes. The most notable volcanoes are the Frey Hills on Monsteret Mount and the submarine volcano called Kikum Jenny, which lies about 10 kilometers north of Gren Grenada. Grenada is a notable location because this area suffered large historical earthquakes in 1839 and in 1843. This region of earthquakes are along the geologically complex southern boundary. In the southern border, the Caribbean plate interacts with the South American plate, forming Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, and islands off the coast of Venezuela and Colombia. This boundary is in part the result of, sub of subductions and fault fractures. These complex geological features were made possible through the Caribbean plate.